Hello, my name is Trevor and I'm a developer and I'm a trainer at Evolving Web. Uh, and at Evolving Web, we specialize in Drupal. We build our sites with Drupal, but we also offer Drupal training. Uh, so we offer training for site building, theming, module development, accessibility, all sorts of training. So if you go to evolvingweb.ca slash training, uh, you'll get a list of all of our upcoming courses and webinars. Uh, and we're also starting to offer uh, more of the basics, HTML and CSS basics, web fundamentals training. And so again, you can go to the site and you can get a list of all the stuff that we're offering. Uh, speaking of HTML, uh, I want to show you a really cool HTML5 tag that I discovered recently and I'm surprised I didn't uh, know about it earlier. So I'll give you a use case here. I've had to build this so many times for, for projects over the years. Uh, let me know if you've seen something like this. Uh, here we have an accordion, okay? Something that, you know, if you click this thing here, it'll show you more stuff. So if I click this, it'll reveal more text or images or whatever you need underneath there. I'm going to show you how I've been doing this for years, then I'll show you a new way with this details uh, HTML5 tag. So here's the code from the old way that I used to do this. I've got a div here which has the title, uh, click to see more, and then this other div called uh, collapse details. Okay? So I've also written a little bit of CSS for this. Uh, here I've told the collapse title to have you know, some padding and the color right there. And then the collapse details, I think that's hidden. I told it to go display none, don't show. And when I first load the page, it looks like this, and it is hidden. And to get that to show up, I've had to write some JavaScript. I've had to write some JavaScript to get this so that when I click this, it shows it. So I'll show you the JavaScript that I've had to write for this. Uh, I'm using jQuery. And what this is doing is, uh, you know, when we click this collapse title uh, div, uh, toggle, meaning hide and show, this collapse details uh, div right there. Okay, So again, show you how that's done. Every time I click this, it hides and shows that. Okay, And that does work. It certainly does work. But uh, that took a lot of work to do. You need that CSS to display none, and then I got to write some JavaScript to get that to work. Uh, and another thing, uh, you can't see me do this maybe, but when I click the tab uh, button here, it isn't selecting it, okay? It's not accessible, okay? So this is just not a good way to do it. Does it work visually? Sure. But I'm gonna show you an even better way with a lot cleaner code. So it is this uh, element called the details element, okay? The details element creates a disclosure widget in which information is visible only when the widget is toggled into an open state. So let's try this out. We will add here, just going to make a new section here, h2 details. Okay, so let's fire into this. I'm going to make an element called details, and I'm going to close this. And um, uh, to get a little title for this, we use this other tag called summary. Summary, okay? Click to see more. And underneath this summary, we can write anything we want. We can add any HTML here. I'm just going to copy the, the, the paragraph tag from up here, post that there, and I'm save that. And let's see what this looks like. Let's return here, and I'm going to refresh, and it adds this for us. Okay? I have that h2 tag here, but here's the important part. Here is the details. Uh, tag that we added. Okay? It automatically puts that little triangle there, and when I click this, it displays it. Okay? I didn't have to write any CSS, I didn't have to write any JavaScript. This comes built in to HTML5. Okay? And it clicks and it hides and shows it like that. Another thing is, uh, again maybe you can't see me do this, when I press the tab button, uh, if I was using a screen reader, uh, you know, it automatically goes to it. And again, I'm going to press the spacebar button. Maybe you're not being able to see this. When I press spacebar, it opens it automatically and it closes it automatically. Now, of course, this doesn't look very pretty, so I can add some, some CSS for this. Uh, I will just go summary and I will copy the collapse title CSS, add for that, and refresh. You can see it like that. Okay. Now I can add a few of these together. Maybe I have a few of them stacked on top of each other. So I'll go back to my HTML and I'm going to copy that 
and just paste it twice. Refresh, and we'll look at Chrome here. And they're stacked on top of each other, and they all work independent of each other. Now, what happens if I want one of these to be open by default? Okay, how do I get that? Do I need to write some CSS, some JavaScript to do this? Nope, it's super easy. All we need to do is add the open attribute to whichever one of these we want to have open by default when we first load the page. And let's refresh Chrome. And when we refresh this, we should see that that first one will be open by default. And there it is. Okay. Uh, and again, this is all accessible. So if I hit tab here, it'll go to that one and then go to the next one. And I can open these with the space bar. Really easy to do. I didn't have to write any JavaScript to get that to work at all. Okay. Now you've probably seen this in action. If you've used Drupal before, uh, if you're adding, uh, you know, a new piece of content along the right hand side, you have menu settings here. I didn't know this. I used Drupal for years and uh, I didn't know that this was built using that, uh, that details uh, HTML5 element right there. Okay, so that's uh, the details tag. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, go to evolvingweb.ca slash training if you want to learn uh, more about what we offer for Drupal and uh, HTML and CSS basics. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.